seek no wider war. The United States does not start fights. America does not seek conflict. I don't like to use military force. Our nation enters this conflict reluctantly. Everyone thought you were so beautiful But little did we know you had us all fooled I thought I knew you, but I didn't know you at all The more I found out, the more I became appalled The greatest misconception throughout history Is the impression of a land based on liberty Of course it's a deception, more like tyranny Oppressing people since the 1770s In 76 they declared their independence A bunch of unwanted European immigrants Misfits with mischief on the minds at all times, Native American genocide on all tribes. It didn't take long before they were long gone. They killed them all from old people to newborns. They pillaged the villages and raped the women. The birth of America, this is just the beginning. We maintain our strength in order to deter and defend against aggression, to preserve freedom and peace. No one, friend or foe, should doubt our desire for peace. The United States wants peace. We seek peace. We strive for peace. It wasn't long after they started building ships Headed towards Africa ready to equip themselves With the race of slaves to plant their grains They erased any trace of their culture, changed the names They raped the women, even raped the children More victims of American imperialism And when the time came when they couldn't contain them They granted them freedom and segregation Then they moved on to other nations to conquer Other races to slaughter, other peoples to martyr They occupied Hawaii so they could fight Spain and during the Boxer Rebellion the Chinese were slain then conflicts in the Philippines and Colombia and the banana wars of Central America but when they got their hands on the nuclear bomb it was over the whole world rested inside their palms we want nothing for ourselves only that the people of South Vietnam be allowed to guide their own country in their own way the United States has been engaged in an effort to stop the advance of communism in Central America by doing what we do best, by supporting democracy. There's been so many different wars, invasions, interventions, conflicts and occupations on other nations throughout American history. There's some of the ones that occurred this past century. Korea, Vietnam, Cambodia, Libya, the Dominican Republic, Cuba, Syria, Lebanon, Grenada, Panama, Somalia, Bosnia, Haiti, and Yugoslavia. Then they started the crusade against Islam, a war on terror in order to occupy the land. They're still in Afghanistan, they're still in Iraq, they're dropping bombs on Pakistan and I and Iran. Their hands are soaked in oil from the Middle East, whose lands are soaked with the blood of the deceased. This is the current state of this land of the free, this home of the brave, this great beacon of liberty. And I am continuing, and I am increasing the search for every possible path to peace. America will stand with the allies of freedom to support democratic movements in the Middle East and beyond with the ultimate goal of ending tyranny in our world. Good evening, my fellow Americans. Tonight I want to talk to you on a subject of deep concern to all Americans and to many people in all parts of the world, the war in Vietnam. In the life of all free nations, there come moments that decide the direction of a country and reveal the character of its people. We are now at such a moment. They're all liars, they're just fueling the fire. Seven o'clock this evening, Eastern Time, air and naval forces of the United States launched a series of strikes against the headquarters, terrorist facilities. win the peace.